basically the counter to the meta. Uh, people just tend to underplay scissors by about 2%. Huh. It's very strange. But here we are. Uh, the Nalkin versus Tanwad's Puff on Final Destination. Um, this is uh, a very, very whizzy pick. Nate is not whizzy. Um, he's not that good. Uh, he seems to be liking some stomps. Uh, wow. That was Nate with an amazing punish. The two, two of the worst Falcon punches I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, to punish that missed rest. <laughs> Despite <coughs> there not capitalizing go. off that rest, okay. uh, gets the first stock. He knows he doesn't need it. Uh, Nate uh, is low-key, uh, kind of smug as a player. Um, doesn't really try unless uh, he, unless you prove that he needs to. Um, and that has been his downfall many, many times. It's probably the reason he has not won a monthly. Oh my god, he comes back from Legend of the Knee and it's a two stock lead on the first game. <laughs> yeah. Nate playing a character which many would consider disrespect to Tanwad. And a slight smile on Nate's face confirms that he's aware of this fact. <laughs> uh, and uh, I assume Tanwad's in the space is good. Nope. Nope. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Nope. Nope. Oh my god, the down smash catches him out, but it's not a stock yet. Can Nate keep him off the stage? Neutral air just twinkles him. <laughs> what? <laughs> and will this be a four stock in game one? Nate's not really playing out of his mind. I don't know how we got to this point. Um, Tanwood, kind of a buster sometimes. Um, oh, but, but he, he does get it. that stock. <laughs> keeping it, keeping it, you know, on the edge of respectable. I have seen Nate using some banned moves, which aren't down air this game, though, so we'll have to take that into consideration in the final judging. And he gets the knee for the, for the win. Okay, and Tanwad's running it back. Oh, Tanwad went Falco. <laughs> Do you think that uh, Nate's ranking boost since the previous monthly has given him the mental edge to win out this game? No, I don't. Whoops. <laughs> Hang on. Um, no, I don't. Uh, because Nate is down um, somewhere between 60 and 90 points uh, since the last monthly. <laughs> I thought J Mac was ranked one last monthly. Is that not true? Um, yes, J Mac was ranked one, yeah, but so. uh, he has dropped his. He, uh, bleh. J Mac dropped himself down to uh, fourth place strictly on his own uh, through no uh, no work on Nate's part. I think that the number itself gives Nate a, a huge ego boost, which he doesn't deserve. But it seems to be playing into his favor, uh, at least in game one. But this game, we see Tamwon out to an early lead, I believe, unless the, uh, unless the yes, controller ports um, have been switched on me. Nope. Uh, Tanwad's Falco. Uh, actually, probably worse than his puff, but seems to be doing well here. Captain Falcon, kind of destroyed by Falco. Um, lasers uh, shut him down pretty hard, since he does not have a projectile to return fire with. Um, and, of course... Uh, Falcon, easily gimped. Falco, master of gimps. We're seeing Nate get dumped on with these combos at the moment. Tamwon really doing his best to uh, make the most get out of in the face. high percent left of his stock. And he's really dancing around Nate's movement. It seems like Nate's having a hard time catching up. He got the down throw, but no, no follow-up. 
Chain one just playing calm and collected. Laser and good dash attacks. Oh, but that, mm, that knee stomp could have gone somewhere. It didn't. Falcon, fat as fuck. Not going to get killed by the down tilt. Uh, that nice reverse knee will uh, even up the stocks. And suddenly, Falcon still at 133. And yep, there it goes. Uh, I got it. No, I, I have not I have another alert. It has been worming his way back into this game, though. On the first yeah. down throw, into the knee, uh, neutral air. Can Nate continue the combo? Side B gets him. Quick 50%, and Nate continues the combo. Oh, jeez. Can he Come get on. the knee to close Ten out the one, you gotta stay alive if you wanna stay in winners. Oh my oh, god. And Nate there's gets the stock. Not the game, never mind. Last I forgot scenario. the Tanwan still had a stock. Can Nate close it out real quick? Um... It's definitely within his ability to do this. Um, oh my course, god, he's going off Nate, with the side B misses. And Nate, now Tanwan has number an opportunity. Number one on the choke PR uh, could easily drop this. Oh, oh my god. But he god. gets the hug. That is unsafe on hit, Nate I think. Nate makes it back into stage with a double up B recovery. Oh, oh and the, the roll directly into oh, Nate. <laughs> Nate, Nate's definitely playing with his food here, but at 77, I really don't think that's a good idea. She's right there. She's right there. She's right there. Oh my god! <laughs> and Nate is living! Tanwad. He gets the grab. Nate has oh, oh my god! <laughs> Tanwad pops off like the schmuck he is. <laughs> Can someone give a bag of potatoes to Nate? <laughs> Come on, commentary. I can't commentate. Okay. Wait, are you? Did you already? I mean, <laughs> you've been hearing what we're saying. I have one game of the fucking And then I lost uh, Icy's first beat. Yeah. And then went down row against the speech and went down the last dog last bit. And I actually had, I did an up air, that was, where if I shined, it would okay. be Okay. Um, Nate has gone Fox. Uh, this means he is actually willing to put effort into the match. I actually see this as a loss for Nate. His mentality is degraded to the point where he feels he cannot go Falcon and win the game. Ah, uh, well, he's kind of... Uh, in Tanwell's early combos. First stock is pretty even so far. Although Nate does have some stage position at the moment. Nice, uh, nice mid shorten from Tanwad. Um, Nate giving up uh, all of his stage position. Uh, side B is to the stage, gets away with it, and then uh, stage spikes Falco like a chump. Now I'd like to see some smash attacks out of Tanwad this game. I really feel that they're underutilized for Miss Falco, and I think that Nate has a really hard time dealing with forward smashes typically, so. I mean, welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> but are you guys, you can have it's too bad that you're uh, matched up with two of the most expert commentators in this game. <laughs> we represent some of the, the most refined game knowledge you'll find in the Maryland, Virginia area. Meanwhile, so, with the match. Stay tuned, zero viewers. Um, you're on the retreat. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta no no. You gotta you gotta think of the YouTube viewers, right? Like the ones that watch with the sound off in the background. <laughs> Who does that? While they play chess on the couch while doing homework. <laughs> okay, uh, ten watt down, but Nate does kind of a time. He was kind of screwed there. Nate's dead. Um, two stocks to two. Uh, Nate with a rapidly decaying percentage lead. Um, but he gets the nair. And oh, uh, and the F tilt will, uh, will get him the stock. Uh, Nate doesn't quite have the spacing nailed down this, uh, this tournament, it looks like. <laughs> Nah, I'd say that Nate's play is subpar. He's really gonna have to step it up if he uh, if he wants to go further in winners. 
Oh! Whoa, there we go, there we go. Uh, he gets hit by the and side And the lack bait. of timing to, to handle uh, that meteor cancel really shows. Oh! Uh, Let the up smash close the bicycle kick will take it. Good work.